Well, <clears throat> I now no longer have a reason to worry about killing myself to get up and watch football on Sundays until January. So that's a good thing when you work late Saturday nights. Because the Eagles have imploded. However, a lot of handicappers imploded today. Except three. Three winning handicappers on my site today. One, three and oh, plus 300 dimes. Morning coffee, you're going to need it after that weekend. Well, maybe somebody's got a bailout package for you. Probably help starts next. <laughs> Partyhelp.com, week 12 in the NFL report, not a good week for some. In fact, most. Doesn't include Mick from Top Shelf Chicago, continues to roll. 2-0 and on the day, plus 40 units, as he had the Bears minus the points. And he also had that New England game going over the total. And it looks like today that some of the bigger spread numbers finally started to come in. He does have a special, and if you are hurting, he does have the Monday bailout package for you. It's 50 bucks. It's every Monday night football game for the rest of the year. Ty Davis Sports Investor. 3 and 6 on the day, going to give back 360 dimes. He does have the guaranteed 60% special. So if you head on over to Ty Davis Sports Investor, email him, mention part I help, you can get that special. He did have quite a bit of plays today, uh, more so in the hoops than in uh, football. Football alone, he went one and two. Hoops, he did uh, slightly better. Tough day for quite a bit of people. Betting as a business goes 3-5 and five on the day, and they are going to give back 85 units. The Bastard's theory of one play per day works out very well today. The Bastard goes 1-0 and oh and adds 25 dimes to his bankroll. Oh, boy. Millionaire Picks goes 1-1, one and, one and they are going to give back 150 bucks. Pete James at Parlay Pete Sports goes 2-2 two and two and is going to give back 18 dimes as he did miss his two big plays. This guy, Mr. Payne Insider, was struggling all week. I used the F word in the video last night. Hopefully you didn't listen to it. 3-0 and oh on the day, plus 300 dimes. Had two 100-dime seven-point teasers, and he also had... The New York football giants who are just proving that they are one hell of a team and are going to make a run for two Super Bowls in a row. Prime time sports advisors, four and two day. So you'd say, okay, should be winning. Not good money management. Four and two, they're going to give back five units. Nope, well, still four and two. And this dreck of a day, that's not too bad. Red Picks goes 1-2 and two on the day and is going to give back 55 dimes. Sharp Edge plays 2-5 and five on the day and is going to give back 2,070 bucks, which is going to hurt him dramatically in the winner of the week bankroll area. We will get to that right after we review our last handicapper, who would be Tony Bruno wins who goes 0-1 on the day and is going to give back 11 dimes as he was on the Cleveland Browns. So where we are and basically what's going on with it. First of all, I'm still looking for one more handicapper. I think I got it locked down. Try to lock somebody in for the last month of the year. And then uh, beginning of 2009, a lot of things are going to change. Right now, it looks like, barring a miraculous situation, Top Shelf Chicago has got winner of the week nailed down again for winning percentage. Starting to sound like a broken record. He's at 750 right now. 
I'm pretty sure he'll release one play. However, the Basher is at three and two, so somehow the Basher releases two, which is rare because he usually doesn't care too much about winner of the week. Hits his both, and um, top shelf Chicago loses. That's pretty much the only possibility for him not nailing down winner of the week for winning percentage. For bankroll, however, bankroll is relatively, for the most part, wide open at this point. Um, top shelf Chicago is seven point or seventy five point five units. The basher is sixty seven dimes. Sharp edge plays is still up one thousand sixty five bucks, which would be the equivalent of one hundred and six point five dimes. And Tony Bruno wins. You never know what kind of play they could release. They are up forty six point five dimes on the week. There we go. As I said, looking for one more handicapper uh, to give you an idea how bad it was for some. Brandon Lang actually hit a game, but then lost the game on a teaser. So he ends up 1-1 one one plus 11. Budin got some crew, and they finally hit for him as he had the Vikings. So that wins him 25 dimes. My favorite guy, Mr. 50-50, Wayne Allen Root. 1-6 and six on the day. Monday night bailout games. They are coming tomorrow night. Also, quickly, uh, primetime... Uh, Sports Advisors, they're giving out free plays on Thanksgiving. You can head on over to their site and uh, sign up for um, a user account and get free plays for Thanksgiving. I usually only mention winner of the week specials. That's not really special, and considering how bad most of these guys did, some of them should give you something back. We'll see everyone Monday night after all the games are over. And uh, goodbye to the Philadelphia Eagles. And it works out okay because now I don't have to worry about getting up on Sunday mornings anymore. Number one sports monitor on the internet, partyhelp.com.